I mean, that being said, G. Depp just got out, so maybe, I don't know what he's gonna do. He could, he could make make some. this money, come on, this money. <laughs> the yeah. G stands for the game. It don't ease pain. Come on, I love that guy. Were you guys G. Depp fans? I liked him, but I don't I, think I know he's gonna. I know the, the hits. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he the. I don't think he the guy. I mean, I'm happy he's home. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna listen to him today. Welcome home, G. Dev. But uh, we're not counting on you to uh, come in as a major player. Here. <laughs> I mean, go ahead, relax. Get to know your kids. <laughs> when they said he was released, I thought I, I didn't even know he was in jail, bro. I was like, damn, I didn't even know. Yeah, was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, G. Dev. G. Dev. Okay, hey, good to see you, man. <laughs> I love special delivery. Anyways. The government growing babies. Microchips in your anus. All koala bears are racist. The ozone layer owes me money. Martians invented turkey stuffing. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Num, num, num in my tum, tum, tum. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another phenomenal episode of My Mama Told Me. The podcast mm-hmm. where we dive deep into the pockets of black conspiracy theories, and we finally work to prove that Shannon Sharp would, in fact, suck some toes if faced with the right toes. Come on, Shannon. We know you got it in you. Just do it for the team. My name is David Borey. I'm Langston Kerman. I'm all for sucking toes. I am too. And I, I'm ain't, I am for, too. I I ain't fighting it. It's I'm a crazy not, move, but I don't get it. But it's not know. a first date move. But I recognize that like everybody date different. Everybody you wouldn't move suck how they toes move. on the first night. I don't. I don't think I would do it before I got some, or at least like the the promise of it. No, I'm talking about in the first hookup. Oh, I would. I you say. would. Uh, okay, our which I mean, today. I think is really the beginning of the converse, the topic today. No, you can jump Am in I whenever. In? Yeah, oh, you're you're in. In. I was like, I'm like, yeah, I'll suck toes. Okay, <laughs> cool. <Yeah. laughs> we'll intro you more properly, but but feel uh, free to chime in whenever oh. you decide. Word, yeah, I'm down. I'm down sucking toes on the first link. I, I'm yep. not opposed to it. I don't think my instinct lends itself to sucking toes. Certainly not. What are you fully being dressed. so scary for? What are you? What? I, I, come on, man! I, I'm just trying to earn it. I'm just trying to earn it. Earn the toe sucking. <laughs> I'm not jumping straight to the toes. Though. I don't want you to, like take your shoes off. Let me suck your feet. I'm no, it's off. not the first place my mouth is going. Look. Even Steph Curry takes layups before he takes half court shots. Is my point. You know what I mean? Like he yeah, okay. he works his way up to the thing that is his thing. I don't think it's I don't think it's a half court shot. I think it's a free throw. I think it's a yeah. <laughs> I think it's a mid range jumper at best. You, Maybe a turnaround, but like nah, man. You feel like across the board, uh, even even uh, a first interaction with somebody, everybody's like, hell yeah, suck my toes. No doubt in my mind that that's going to be well received. Yeah, I mean, not not not, not more or less than the other shit I'm trying to pull off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I mean? there you, go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to like for real about it? Yeah, uh, I got a couple moves. Wait, I'm trying we, to get. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I feel like it's the first. Is this the first day we're going out to dinner? Like, when she comes over for dinner, I'm, she comes over for dinner. I'm definitely sucking toe. Yeah, <laughs> if you cross the threshold, while we watching a movie. It's all going in each other's mouths. <laughs> so yeah. if you made bolognese, you putting toes in your mouth. That's just the way <laughs> that's Absolutely. going. Absolutely. If I had to heat up an appetizer, <laughs> I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> let me get the, let me get a look at them piggies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pigs in a blanket to pigs in my mouth. That's the order. <laughs> <laughs> Our guest today, you already have heard his uh, his his bold opinions on toll sucking, and maybe 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 I'm in the minority, and it actually leads us well into the the subject of today. But our guest today, he's a phenomenal comedian. I couldn't be a bigger fan of him. You know him from from uh, that damn Michael Che. You know him from from Comedy Central. You know him from Abbott Elementary. He's insecure. He's been all kinds of cool shit. Hilarious dude. Give it up for Reggie Conquest. Hey, what up? What up? What's going on? It's been a while since I've been on here, man. Yeah, you you, you were in the original iteration of the show back when it was just me. Yeah, in a different corner of my room. 
Dave, what up, Dave? What up? You changed corners in your room? Yeah, I used to be over there, but now uh, I'm over here. Okay, it's, okay. it's a whole thing. Life's about progress. Yeah. I'm not trying to hold uh, <laughs> Reggie, you came... Well, uh, we should say, you did not come with this conspiracy theory. It sort of yeah. was... Uh, it was born of you and Bori looking at each other and building an almost immediate bond in a way that that's hard to articulate how quickly you all sort of like Voltron together into a, a, yeah. a, a single body. You almost. see how quick yeah, he be was, on that? They, you all shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see how he just does that immediate? He yeah, was going to draw the line. He separated and, himself, you all. Yeah. The way the way you two apes sort of uh, <laughs> <laughs> monkeyed up together, it's uh, it's hard to articulate. <laughs> when they were setting up, I was looking at my camera like, "Is that me?" <laughs> <laughs> but you you came with this conspiracy today. You said, uh, "My mama told me, dark skinned niggas is up." You're the man now, dog. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tell me tell me everything you're feeling right now in this moment. Tell me what you believe. I mean, me personally, I want to say for the record, I don't think we've been down since, like, early 90s. Wow. Really? I think Wesley Snipes came up, and it's been uh-huh. a steady rise. You think even, even, like, peak Drake era, y'all were still... And then the Meek shit... Here's okay. Meek Come was on. a hit. Meek <laughs> and that, was and a that hit. Hurt me. That hurt Meek. Was, and you're from Philly. That is tough. Yeah, is, I can't offend him no more. I'm kind of over him now. Get up! Get up! <laughs> <laughs> rock! rock. <laughs> to, be fair, <laughs> to be fair, I was laughing at that video, but then I went and did the same thing. Like it's easy to sound like a bitch. At yeah. the wrestling <laughs> event, and he was like, "You know what? I feel for me with, at that point." Yeah, and you're and right. He was with kids. I was with grown men. Like, yeah, <laughs> like it was the yeah. same exact tone and everything. I'm talking uh, okay. tough. Like I had to take a walk when the Undertaker got beat at WrestleMania. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That was a bad day. That was a tough day. Uh, here's the thing. I think that to the Drake of it all, here's yeah. what I think about Drake. Great artist. We love him. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Women mm-hmm. want to have sex with him. Men don't want to be him. Nah, I don't and that's drink. why I don't think he counts for a take. Niggas want to be Wesley Snipes. Nobody wants to. And I, like I said, I love the guy. Nobody wants to be Drake. That's everybody, fair. everybody looks. Hey, you know what I mean? You see him and you're like, oh, Drake, you're up to your old. What are you doing, spread eagle on the bed? <laughs> I was just, I was just speaking from just Cole, just apologizing to Kendrick. Like it's. Come on. That was a big day. It's our summer. That was, that was a, a crazy big day moment. for light skin, dark skin. I was like, oh, we got it. <laughs> oh, that was a that's a that's that's a good day. He bent the knee. I could not. Yeah. I so first, and I, I want to say this on the record. I didn't care about this beef from the start. From the start, I was like, this is boring. They're just friends, like being yeah. like I like beef when they beef, when it really is about when like somebody about to die. Yeah, Langston wants somebody killed behind <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I like when a man feels sad after he listens to another man read poems. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. I don't want this shit where it's like, oh wow, he rapped really rappy. You, it's you like, like a 50 yeah, yeah. cent level. Yeah, let's burn sleeves. some bridges, I baby. Respect that. I respect that. Yeah, you want somebody's baby mama to get fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's old school. <laughs> that's old school beef. That's the worst shit I ever seen on the internet. That was Fifty Cent is just wow. For that, that was the worst thing I seen. Two Crazy. girls, one cup. That's still the worst shit I ever seen on the. Like it hurt my feelings oh, when shit, I watched. I forgot it. about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm Damn, sorry. That's a throwback. <laughs> yeah, I think he was meaner to to Floyd Mayweather than he was to Ja Rule. Oh, Floyd got it bad. The the reading thing Floyd is got hard. It bad. The reading thing was pretty, like, exposing in a way that I still look at Floyd a little funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, damn, bro, you, you can't read. That's But even even that era, nobody was getting killed. They were just really shitting on each other. Yeah, they right. were just real mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But I knew this bad. I knew this wasn't real beef, but I didn't. I was getting into it. Okay. I really? was really getting into it. And you were buying the in. I was buying into the friendship and the lyrical shit. 
Now, I don't think Drake is coming doing that. I don't think I think Drake is a foul nigga and he's gonna say some foul shit. <laughs> I think so too. I think so too. I, I, think so I don't too. think Drake's gonna make this a rap beef, but I do think he's gonna do something real like fucking weird and yeah. uh, and personal and make this way ickier than it currently is. That being you know said, I mean? Drake also was bested by a dark skinned man. He yeah. was. He was. Yeah. He was. But but he bested it's over. I, uh, <laughs> he bested a dark skin man. The Splash Did Brothers he? are done. Steph is done. It's over. Whoa. Hey, yeah. wait a minute. It's almost get out of here. Get Clay out of is here. Done. I think, Steph is fine. I think Clay <laughs> could know. come back. I think Clay could reverse Sammy Sosa. I think he ends up with us. To be completely honest. <laughs> I think that's a real, <laughs> I think that's a real, a real possibility. <laughs> Here's what I'll say is I think that there's a fair argument that a, lo- a lot of our heroes are on their downturn, right? A Clay Thompson, a Steph Curry, a Drake obviously is not uh, at his height of heights. It, it, it ain't looking great. J. Cole's apologizing. But I don't think you all are giving enough credit to the way dark skin niggas have been acting a fool as of late as well. I don't think you're acknowledging all of the important players here. Meek Mill is an important mention. Draymond Green ha- has truly lost every ounce of him. Well, see, that's all fun and games. That's all fun and games to us. <laughs> and yeah, he like lost we, himself in the darkness. He just, <laughs> He's like Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, I'll throw poop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, all the things he's doing is just, he got, if anything, too dark. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's and, just yeah, that's just dark skin fun. That's yeah, 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 exactly. Like, that. you know, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This has always fun. been this has always been my issue with this argument is that at its core, you guys hate us so much. Okay. And I want to be clear All about right, my now language. Relax. I want to be absolutely clear about my language. You I am not here, mis- he's yelling. I, I'm furious now <laughs> because you all yeah. hate us so much that when when Drake acts like a psychopath, you go, this is light skin behavior. He's being a little bitch, whatever it is. But when Draymond Green ar- arguably does identical shit to it's Drake, not identical shit. It's, it's not identical. You are he insane. You it's think, actually you funny seen, games when Draymond Come dies. on. You seen Draymond spread eagle on the bed? Let's be honest. You see, you see that? You th- you think Draymond be, spreads his legs for a dick pic? That's what you tell me be, right now. <laughs> let's be completely honest. You take the dick pic out of the equation, and Draymond Green is going on his podcast and and starting beefs that he ends only when he can like wrestle a dude from the back. It's Drake level behavior. Dark skin activities. Yes, that's fun. That's dark skin fun. You think that's he's Drake starting, shit, man? Drake never. He gets suspended. Who's, he gets suspended just like I used to. He gets come suspended on. from everything. <laughs> come on. He's doing the same thing Drake does. He's pulling the fire alarm. Yes. I used to yeah. really pull every fire alarm in the school. Exactly. <laughs> Did Come you on. get you guys suspended every time? Oh, that was like a kink for me back then. I was just, every time <laughs> I could not <laughs> stop pulling fire alarms at one point in my life. <laughs> that's yo, that's a hilarious stat. <laughs> Bro, so, yeah. 20 fire alarms pulled. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was a it was insane. <laughs> It is. I get it though because I've seen yeah. somebody do it, and the excitement. If that is the exciting, excitement, it's running exciting. off, laughing, and you're on camera. They're showing you pulling the phone. They used to show they know. me. Like, they this know. They know right here, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> when did that? You here? might be the first serial fire alarm puller I've ever oh, met in I my was life. At one point, from like <laughs> from like seventh grade to like tenth grade, oh, it was a problem. It was a problem. Whoa. <laughs> what do you, do you remember your last pull? Do you remember like where you were like, hey, I gotta chill. This this took me over. It, I, I got I got kicked out of uh my first high school, ninth grade year. Mm. And I got sent to another school. And then when I got sent to the worst, the the the, the worst school I was ever at, I was like, all right, I should probably chill. Yeah, they were like, yeah. We don't even have fire alarms over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. We'll, we'll let you die in this bitch. <laughs> you, pull a, you pull the fire alarm, we send the police. This ain't- <laughs> yeah, bro. I think it was rough. It's like the beginning of 10th grade. I was like, all right, man, I gotta, I gotta cut this habit. <laughs> Damn. Damn, they took a great one out the game. That's that yeah, sucks, man. man. It was hey. a problem. Gone but not forgotten. 
when we come back, we're really going to try to unpack this so, so-called so dark skin niggas is up movement y'all are trying to start right now. You see it? You see what he does, though? <laughs> Bro, you see what he does? And then he's like, I don't understand the light skin jokes. Like, he's not <laughs> dividing and trying to divide and conquer right now. I'll say now. this. It was a good impression. I'll say that. It was a good I, impression. Y- you nailed my voice. I, I'll give you that. And it's only when you do that regularly. Regular guy, but then you start to with the so called. Uh, wait, okay, yeah, that, I thought I was talking again. I couldn't believe how close the impression was. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna be back with more Reggie Conquest, more my mama told me. Would have been. Oh shit. Swallowed <laughs> up. Have you skin. ever been swallowed <laughs> up? Uh. Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming? We are back. Man, nothing <laughs> ages well. Nothing ages well. I don't think that was even that long ago. I don't think that was that long really? ago. Is are you guys yeah. gonna tell me that's that he got swallowed by the dark skin? What what's that? Right. What, how do you defend that moment? Huh, that one was tough. I don't know. TDJ I one. think I think, yeah, I think that in service of the white Lord, the white <laughs> Jesus, I think everyone makes mistakes. And I think he's lost. I blame that on white Jesus. And, hey, and, Nothing and, is aging well. <laughs> like, in, in 10 years, in 10 years, they're going to call one of us gay and they're going to post a picture of, look at him with his two dark-skinned boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> nothing ages well, man. It's so, <laughs> And they're taking all our heroes out the game. Is what I oh, get yeah. upset about. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Not one white guy who had to get rid of any heroes. I got it. I got to lose one every six weeks. It yeah, sucks. like nobody looked up to uh, to what's his name? It was the producer's name that Harvey. Harvey. Uh, nobody Weinstein. gave a shit. Yeah, yeah, nobody was like, I want to be Harvey Weinstein. I'm a they big were just Miramax like, fan. Yeah, fan. yeah. Like, he's a distributor. <laughs> You're like, no, I respect that he's like very famous and successful, but I don't want to fucking be that guy. He looks like yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. Fucking awful. Yeah. It fucking sucks. We ain't nobody left. Yeah. No, yeah. man. And it's like more and more. It, oh, man. They waited to cancel Hugh Hefner the moment he gave out his last cough. You know what I mean? Like they were like, he was like, <clears throat> and they were like, oh, he's a bad guy. And then he died. And so they just get to live with his memory being good the whole time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dark skin niggas is up. Y'all are, y'all are of the belief that this J. Cole apology, or at least Reggie, you suggested that this J. Cole apology might have been the, the, the big step forward you needed, at least for the right summer. Right before summer. Right before mm-hmm. summer. It's a good look. And then, you know, Kendrick is uh, our patchy beard king. And, uh, yeah. yeah, he gives me confidence. <laughs> we love a patchy to, beard. Yeah, he's a, he's a patchy beard king. And I'm, I'm yeah. following his lead. Do you think that Kendrick now walks away from whatever this is? Like, does he go and rest? Or you think he's coming back with violence? I mean, oh, I, hope, I hope he come back violent. I want him yeah. to rip. I still want him to rip whoever's throat out. I yeah. hope so. Oh. I mean... I do. We do know he loves his rest. Yeah, he loves, loves his rest. rest. He loves his rest. Yeah, he loves taking long breaks, which I do too. Maybe it's the blue in me. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't. I think it's not just Kendrick, though. I think. I think. I think it's fashionable to be dark skinned Maybe we have more dark skinned sexy actors than ever before. Mm. Ever before. Mm, damn yeah. yeah come on uh ibaka some other yeah. africans <laughs> i i will say right now and i've felt this for a few years we are very much lacking in the entertainment space there aren't a lot of great light-skinned champions moving and shaking the way that they are used just, to be who do you got jesse no, williams is down michael ely yeah. is oh. down michael ely's yeah. down bad Shamar Moore is is uh, long past his his expiration date. Terrence Howard, uh, you know, oh, re- man. <laughs> retired from the game. Come and, on, and those bags. Is he retired? <laughs> well, he did. I let's talk about him yeah. a little bit. Terrence Howard did retire so that he could explore his. Uh, is solving these major math sort of breakthroughs. And now he has announced that he's out of retirement because he was in massive debt and in need of money. Mm. So he's back acting again, but he ain't doing great. 
Why in in I because I know you watched the entire interview. What what's with the bangs? Great question. He he goes uh, five minutes into the interview without ever addressing them once. Uh, and it yeah, isn't I it was until a skit at one point. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that's a reasonable guess. Yeah, he don't give skit vibes. Like no, about no. His no. <laughs> I don't think he, I don't think he's funny. Like I'd imagine yeah. he doesn't like comedy. Is what I no, think I don't think so like. either. I don't think he likes yeah. to laugh. <laughs> yeah, like you never seen him be funny in a movie ever, <laughs> never. And that's like hard for a black male actor to never have had a com- comedic role. He goes, he goes f- five minutes into the conversation, never having acknowledged it, and then eventually the the interviewer who loves him dearly, like is very obsessed with him, believes very much in everything that he claims to have done. But she kind of goes like, "Hey, maybe we should tell people why you're wearing a wig." And he goes, "Oh yeah, uh, it's, it's for a role. I'm I'm on set." And it's like, "Oh, okay. take it off. You can take just, it yeah. off. You can." Just- <laughs> <laughs> this is a two-hour interview. <laughs> Take off the fucking wig. You're done no, you for the he, day. <laughs> yeah. You think he knew what he was doing? Like, hey, this is probably going to... Like, I don't feel like he's a skit guy, but I feel like he did. Like, he does things on purpose to, like... Yeah. I think, and this is where I, I start to push back again against what you guys are saying. I think Terrence Howard is an antics guy. I think he was the type to f- pull fire alarms. And you're not acknowledging how much that so. wig is just a pulled fire alarm on top of your head. I, 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 I don't know. Young don't. Terrence Howard don't give uh, fire alarm. Fire alarm. I see him pictures of him when he was on like the Cosby show. He looked like a good kid. Or like, or in Sunset Park, he's the devil. He's a devil. He's a devil. I'm Guys, just saying it. He's I want to be clear. He's a light skinned terrorist. I want to be clear. Terrence Howard does not come from anything reasonable. Terrence Howard. <laughs> and his this dad is killed a, Santa Claus. His dad fucking no. His dad killed a man in line in front of Santa Claus because he bumped into him while they were waiting to see Santa Claus. Almost as if his dad had some type of a beige rage. <laughs> they <laughs> cut in front of them and bumped them. And Terrence Howard's dad then pulled out a gun, shot the man in front of Terrence Howard, the other person's child, and Santa Claus, wait, and then wait, did wait. time in is prison this, for it. Is this real? Is this a, yeah, this is a very Terrence. real thing. About really? Terrence oh, Howard. shit. Yeah. Never mind. He, 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 damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that. He don't come from a goddamn thing. No, no, no. He got it. He got it out the mud. He's from Cleveland, right? I don't remember. <laughs> if he went through that, he would definitely know pull fire alarms. He starts fires. Yes. He's a it, fire starter. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's a menace. He's yeah. not he's not for play. Yeah, yeah. I think he's I think he's a fire kid. Yeah. Fire alarms was fire alarms was all in fun. My friends was like, do it, do it. We said, get out of class, disrupt class. Fire. Play. I pull fire alarms for everybody, you know? That little distraction it caused. It costs like like seven to ten minutes to get it stopped or sometimes, you know. <laughs> I did it for the people. Terrence Howard started fires just because he wanted people to die. Yeah, he wanted <laughs> to kill the teachers. Again, yeah. again, you guys keep moving the, the fucking goalpost with this. T- T- Terrence Howard and Draymond Green, same energy. Nope. Terrence Howard, no, no, frankly, no. and Puff Daddy, same energy. Both oh, of them no. terrorists, Who? Okay. monsters, just moving and shaking and pretending like they're not. And you're going to pretend like we're not, we're not talking about the same types of individuals. His name is Love. Yeah, I think there is <laughs> I think there is there is a foundation of fun and enjoyment that Terrence Howard does not have. Yeah. You I don't think, think he put on you don't think he did that interview and had a good time sitting there with his leg crossed I and, think and he moving said, the bang out of his face? I think he said, I am at work, everyone will take me seriously because such. I don't think he I don't think he was like, I this is hilarious, like Diddy would have thought, or Draymond I, Green would have thought. Had they had the same wig? I think Listen, he was like, I'm a serious actor. This is my process. And this is just a part of it. <laughs> Fuck you. I think at some point, because I should note that the, the film that he's shooting on is a Not Muhammad Ali. Not based in the 70s. It is, actually. It's, no, it's, no, a, no, Muhammad, really. <laughs> it's a Muhammad. It's a 60s film where he plays like some sort of gangster 
uh, in a Muhammad Ali sort of offshoot story. It's like a, a before a fight story. I can't remember what exactly it is, but Kevin Hart is involved. Oh, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. I auditioned. Invo- I auditioned for that. How was it? Oh, I did not get it. <laughs> yeah, I think I we gathered. <laughs> Don't nobody say I auditioned and they yeah, booked it. <laughs> did did didn't 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 go great. Was supposed to do was supposed to do a read with Kevin Hart. He couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, Kevin Hart's involved, right? I yeah. think I think Terrence Howard did that interview to show. I think it's a fuck you to Cat Williams and every black person that thinks Whoa. that you got to... Because it's something, it's something there in that wig. Like, hey, I can wear this wig and still be a scary nigga. Like, I can still be uh, a man's man in this but wig. Maybe. I, I agree with that. I think, that. I think he thought Empire was a documentary. I think that it's only to scare people. <laughs> yeah. I think that Terrence Howard put on that wig. I think that wig a- was subliminal. Yeah, And I'm saying, I think he kept that wig on. I think he did two hours of interview. He shook that woman's hands. And then he walked back to Kevin Hart and Samuel L. Jackson. And he was like, y'all ain't going to believe the shit I just did. I don't think he's that silly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he laughed. I don't think he's but, that silly. Uh, but I think he came back and very seriously was like, <laughs> you know, I wore the wig the whole time, right? And then walked away. And they were like, this man is a psychopath. <laughs> Okay, but that's yeah. the funniest thing that a human being can be <laughs> is that level say, of psychopath. You know I can see him saying that dead seriously. That's like, what I'm saying. That's I so much that, funnier than coming back and being like, y'all ain't gonna believe. No. Yeah, here's, yeah, what, yeah. here's what I think that I'm, I, I'm see, I okay, I think I'm starting to see a, a, a split and I'm understanding the dark skin, light skin debate. This is because our humor is based in whimsy and fun. Your humor is, in fact, as you have said yourself, based in true evil. That's what you like is evil. Uh, I, yeah. Langston? I, <laughs> Langston? I, I pride myself on being able to enjoy all kinds of humor. Langston, humor. don't do this. But don't you I, no, let, me, okay. let, me fi- let me finish. Uh, let me excuse finish. Me, excuse me. Excuse me. I pride myself on being able to enjoy all kinds of humor. I will say that Terrence Howard. It for me, Terrence Howard is the top of the top of hilarious human beings and why on is the planet. And if if some of that humor is rooted in devildom, I'm comfortable with that. I but that I'm saying me. you in your core as a light skinned man mm-hmm. like evil. I do. I I aspire towards it for sure. Case yeah, closed. See, you want harm. Case yeah, closed. See, that's the difference between light skin and dark skin fun. You Come want on. harm. <laughs> we just want to play a little basketball, hit you in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, we want we want like temporary like pain a little bit. Like we want it to go away. You want yeah. it forever. We want to come up, suck yeah. you up a little bit. You want to kill people. No, I don't want to kill people. Right, but if you had people. like a permanent limp, that's pretty funny. If something I did just made you always walk different, that's hilarious. That's Do you see funny. how his eyes have kind of gone cold even <laughs> right yeah. now? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. That's, that's not, They right. glazed over. I kind of <laughs> agree with Terrence Howard doing that seriously. Like, hey. it's it, Come on, man. That's the funniest it. way you could have done that. I get that. Yeah. But I need <laughs> yeah. to acknowledge that it's because of the evil that burns inside of his heart. I don't think he's a good guy. I, that's never been my argument right, for him. Right, I just right, think right. he's the funniest person. He's trying to get, but he's trying. Hey, guys, it's okay to wear wigs. Put it, put on a wig. Yeah, and I don't serious. even know yeah. if that's what he thinks, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I think he just makes it up as he goes. That, bro, the wig was nice too. That shit was, it was gorgeous. Nice. It was nice. It was really good. It was. It was really, very really pretty. Good. It was a really nice <laughs> wig. <laughs> and the woman, again, I, I, I cannot emphasize this enough. The wooden, woman could not admire him more. And so she truly addresses it at the five minute mark and it never comes back up again. Like there's never an answer he gives where she goes, I have trouble taking this seriously while you're wearing that wig. She just is like, sir, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your brilliance and your time the entire time. Now, here's the uh, question I have is sort of like, uh, is this like a. Uh, like we're talking about degrees of evil within light skinnedness. 
Mm-hmm. Do you think light skin, green eyes is what takes you to be the full devil? <laughs> I, Does that I make sense? Want... Because you're light skin with brown eyes, still good man, has a family, not in tried to invent any new math. You know what I mean? Yeah. You delight in the devil's playground, but you don't live there. But okay, <laughs> right? Well, well here's what... like a word, boy. You been whoa? That, what, what you been <laughs> here's that what I'll that say. Was a word. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I'll say, and I, I'd be curious to hear both of your thoughts on this. I am not so, a full subscriber that what Terrence Howard is doing with the math is as wrong as we think it is. Uh, wait, what? I, I'm not saying that his <laughs> math is correct, but oh, okay. I am not a subscriber to it being as wrong as everybody keeps trying to say it is. I actually think he's kind of making a few points, even as he's saying a bunch of bullshit around it. Go on. Okay. Here's what I'll say. Fundamentally, one times one does not equal two. I understand that is incorrect in the technical sense, right? But what I think Terrence Howard is trying to do in a in a shitty, not as intelligent as he thinks it is way, is challenge us to reconsider how much of this mathematic shit is just rules versus things that are actually true in our everyday experience. So, for example, we were having this debate the other day. Zero. Where in your life does zero actually exist? The number zero. It's the absence of mm-hmm. existence. It's the absence of existence. But it's like the color of black being the absence of light. I still, it's still tangible. But again, that's a thing that you're adding a logic to. I'm saying in your everyday sort of natural experience, where does zero exist? Ah, uh, when I have one of something and it goes to none of something. But that I does tangibly is, don't have it. It's, it's so zero. principally, if you're looking at this the way that he argued argues it through physics, that doesn't stop existing simply because it isn't yours anymore. That is just you. Okay, this is where please I can I can feel my my uh, fire alarm. Uh, <laughs> uh, <self-boiling laughs> right now. Because <laughs> I will pull a fire alarm. You fucking talking numbers and zero. Where I will pull a fire alarm right now. Yeah, I, I get it. I, it's, it's it's tough <laughs> to make sense of some of it, but but I don't think that everything he's saying is completely incorrect. What I will say, it's it's wrong. It's technically Mm -hmm. wrong because we've created standardized language for how we talk about math, how we talk about certain ideas. And because Mm -hmm. we as humans just agreed on that shit, then he's he's absolutely wrong because we've all agreed on it. Stop being a weirdo and trying to break up the party with a new math like we're chilling. But like if we really unpack some of this, he's not wrong in the net and what the natural world is it's just he's wrong about fucking breaking up a party yeah i i think you asked me earlier what i am i team terrence howard or something along those lines yeah i would absolutely be team terrence howard okay i'm 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 going i'm rolling with him fuck it <laughs> <laughs> i like to hear it see these yeah. these bonds they can be I'm, repaired i'm rolling with terrence in the wig man <laughs> he's, a I think free, he's a free scary man <laughs> he's terrifying he's a he's a menace and and you kind of have to root for it's the it's the fucking you root for the villain sometimes yeah. yeah it's a white bronco on the the fucking freeway you know what i mean it's oj driving with ac no mm-hmm. he's not a good guy no you don't you don't fucking want him to be you know what i mean just a free man for the rest of his life but at the end yeah. of the day you want the bronco to get away yeah, you want him to get away in that situation. In that situation, only you want him to get away. And then later, yeah, like, y'all can get him. Yeah, drive OJ, drive. And then a few weeks from now, you pick him up in like a motel in Memphis. And yeah, okay. You got me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want him to be, but I want him to have that ride. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I think that that too often the the distinction of light-skinned people being sensitive, sensitive, maybe, and this Bori made this point, is conflated with the fact that we like to be menaces and we don't get enough credit for the menace work that we do. 
we're, we're, I think we're forgetting somebody. I, it's so not, I can't think of, but we're forgetting somebody that's a scumbag. That's like Chris man. Breezy. Oh, I love Chris Breezy. Yeah, and he's he's a bad oh, guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's I, a he fucking is a menace. Guy. He is a menace, but I love that dude. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we listen. I, I, and we may get pushed back from some of our listeners as it relates to this. This podcast ain't here to yuck your yum. If that's who you're into, that's who you're into. I'm not going to defend his character, and I'm not going to tell other people oh, no, that they I don't should know love his him. character. I'm talking about his music. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go see him on, in June. I, I'm, I'm going to be dancing. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going. Yeah, I, I, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is as far as how you pick and choose who who you want to go see dance and sing. But but yeah. it, Chris Breezy is an objectively menacing, uh, successful person. It, that's just yeah. true. That's true that's for everybody. Point. We're gonna take a break because right. Dave, David is, I think, still figuring out how to get back up in this. But when he comes back, we'll come back and we'll we'll still be talking to Reggie Conquest and more. My mama told me. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, discussing the complicated life and times of one Terrence Olivier Howard. Is that his middle name? I don't know. Also, did you talk about the new water? Talk about what? He he claimed he invented new water. I didn't see new water. The new oh. hydrogen technology? To oh, hydrogen you technology. It wasn't water. Okay, okay. <laughs> now we're all... This dude, he wins, he wins one argument. Now everybody's a fucking scientist, right? I like that you were like, H2O? Yeah, I can cut out all the other elements in that. It, water. He was saying <laughs> they made new water. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's not what he's saying at all. But what but, was he saying? Oh, I, I mean, I'll tell you what he was saying. He's claiming that that, and this is some of where Terrence Howard is truly the the biggest psychopath on the planet. Is he believes that if we can, he can just reframe our fundamental math, our one times one equals two, then we can finally advance to larger problems that have existed for six thousand years. This thing called the flower of life, which would open up like You're these new. About pussy? I wish it's a <laughs> it's a a diagram of sorts that he says is one of the most ancient symbols that humankind has ever made, and that Da Vinci and all these great uh, Plato, a lot of great thinkers were struggling to figure out this diagram because it has these particles inside of it that by opening it up. He has discovered new particles out in the universe, and in doing so, can now reframe the way that we use our like fuels and shit. So we would have hydrogen technology. He could solve climate change. He could solve starvation, agricultural issues across the world. It sounds to me like he's talking about good pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Terrence Howard said all this in an interview? Terrence Howard has said this across many interviews, including uh, appearing at Oxford University, where he gave a speech where they asked him to speak there about his acting career. And instead, <laughs> he showed up and gave an hour long presentation about the science that he has been working on for 40 years, as he claims. Really? How old yeah. is he? I, I, I like 50. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. You do, you know your Terrence Howard, Howard uh, homework. I don't know anything about that, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. I don't think that there's a person I know more about. <laughs> 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 Including my wife. I think... I think Terrence Howard comes first, and every day I'd be wondering, how do you spell my wife's hometown again? I don't really know. And then Terrence Howard, I'd be like spitting his knowledge like I'm in a fraternity. Yeah, that I was love crazy. This nigga. That was Damn, crazy. <laughs> his middle name is Deshaun. I did. I did look that up <laughs> yesterday. I did see that. Which you think he would go? He seems more like a Deshaun to me. Deshaun nah. Howard. That sounds yeah. like a football player. I feel like I'm pretty sure that's a football player name too. Yeah, no, it sounds like one for it sure. <laughs> Just like the odds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's 55 years old. Yeah, so for 40 years, 
he is he's been working on this science. And he's been doing flower science for forty years. The flower of life. Let's flower. not be reductive. It does sound like what David said or something. The flower <laughs> of life does sound like that. <laughs> it might Come be. On. It might be, and I pray that he solves the equation. I guess is really the more important part here. I mean, I don't think any of us have figured it out all the way. That's what I'm saying. I think that that at the end of the day, and this is where I take issue when people laugh at Terrence Howard, or at least the way that they laugh at him, is that at the end of the day, what he's presenting isn't bad. He's saying he wants to solve all our problems out in the world. That's fucking cool. We should root for him, even if he is being a psychopath like dumb dumb. We should be like, yeah, figure it out, Terrence. That's great. At what point does psychopath and dumb dumb not be the more important thing to focus on. Who are you following first, a psychopath or a dumb dumb? I think I'll follow a psychopath. Man, I'd be lying if first. I ain't said I let some dumb dudes yeah. talk me into some shit in my lifetime. <laughs> Maybe Just that like me too. confident, confident too. dumb dudes have got me in yeah. trouble. Same, but man. but in your current life, and this is worth asking, we you're thirty six years old. Mm -hmm. in, in your current self, would you follow a psychopath or a dumb dumb first? I would go psychopath today. I think, there we go. I, I agree. I I, I, yeah. I agree. There I think, we go. Yeah. If you if it's if it's right now, I think that I can see the forest through the trees with a dumb dumbass. I'll still get tricked by a psychopath. Psychopath is just a better leader, hands That's down. Yeah. Not see, you're jumping. Just a better leader. You're jumping. <laughs> uh, you're jumping. I followed a lot of dumb dumbs and did a lot of dumb shit. I never. I don't. I never went behind. I, I'm definitely following the psychopath because it's just like, all right, this is the first time for everything. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I I do think the thing about and also the thing about psychopath is you can still be a psychopath and be kind of smart, yeah, or be successful, yeah. right? There's. I think most famous people are psychopaths. Absolutely, somewhere inside, right? Like yeah. super dupe, like up top famous people. They're all Steph sick. Curry prays after every shot. Yeah. That's not a psychopath. Yeah. That's yeah, a psychopath. That's, that's that's wild. That's wild. Yeah. Dude, LeBron James got the chosen one tattooed on his body before he played an NBA game. To be fair, was he not? But that's even, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> even even at that point, he hit that between the legs dunk and in in high school in game and I also was like, "He's Bro, I'm not questioning the the legend coming oh, man. through. If that didn't work out, yeah. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. That yeah, if it didn't if work, work out, out. <laughs> Yo, what do so you many, think? What do you think? Dude. Greg Oden has tattooed on his body. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> TJ Ford is just at a 24 hour fitness. <laughs> yeah, with <laughs> with wild tattoos. Yeah, yeah that yeah, is like, that's hard. God will never turn on me. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's like, bro. I think I think you're being crazy. I think you're being a fucking psychopath. I don't mean that too. I love TJ Ford. I'm trying to be hating less on this podcast. I really Not like. Me. I like TJ. I know Not you. Not me. <laughs> TJ Ford, another dark skinned king. So if if I were to make an argument here, and and I'd love to hear your thoughts, I think that if you're saying that principally. Light skinned people live towards psychopath versus sort of like dumb, silly and I don't think psychopath, I think more towards evil. I, evil I think is the word I said. You don't think that those are yeah. those have a level of synonymous inside of them? I think truly concentrated evil isn't psychopathic, it's just evil. I, you know, it's just the opposite of good. I I, I don't think you have to yeah, be you nuts. Get some good I don't psychopaths. Think you have to, yeah, I don't think I don't think you have to be nuts to be to be evil. I, and like you said, yeah, I think there are some psycho people who are totally good. I don't think you can be evil without psychosis. I do really? think you can be a psychopath without being evil, but I don't think you, it's like square to rectangle, rectangle. I think it's just a different picture. orientation. You just give me an example of evil. an evil person who is not a psychopath. Evil, evil genius, like an evil genius. Like a, I don't uh, think you're a psychopath. I think we start inside the house. And we move outside. Yeah, but I'm not actually evil. No, I just I know, aspire I towards it. Ah, uh, ah, that's a good uh, point, though. Now that if I think about it, somebody who's evil who's not a psychopath. Dexter's laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a German child. Yeah, but he was he was Bro, a he's not supposed to be German. His parents were American. That's a psychopath. That's a psychopath. <laughs> no, but he wasn't evil though. <laughs> he was just a good psychopathic kid. 
<laughs> he's just nuts. He's just a little nut job. He was little trying to take ball. over the yeah. world like every yeah. episode. Y'all was are he? pretending like, yeah, yes, he wasn't just chilling down there. He was doing wild shit. Damn, I mean, I am, I'm, I'm having trouble pulling up. The only, the only people I feel like I can pull up are like just people I've known personally in my life. No, I those don't, think don't count. Yeah, I don't think they're evil on a large enough scale to make no. that count. We need because I've known player. some people like there's lovable psychopaths. Hold on, come on. Oh, no, oh no, yeah, no. there's lovable psychopaths. I, I think we're in agreement oh, oh, about that. The, yeah, there are plenty sure. of psychopaths oh, okay, okay. that you can love, and and we we all agree are not evil. We're saying, can you be evil without being a psychopath? And I don't think you can. I mean, what's a psychopath, right? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. And I, I don't I don't even know where this conversation is. A person affected by a chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. Okay, I don't know if you can be yeah. evil without abnormal or violent social behavior. Exactly. That's that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's been that's my point this whole time. And so I right. say... I say that that while, yes, it's looking like a warm summer for y'all, and I hope that you enjoy it. Congratulations on this odd victory that you pulled with odd J. Victory. Cole. Why is it odd? Why is it, it an odd victory? Like, it's not odd for a rapper to be on stage apologizing because he just wants his friend back. That's not Oh, odd. I thought you said it's odd that Dark Skin is winning. No, no, no. You're, you're so sensitive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which is... Historically, one of your traits. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe I'm the missing link. Yeah, calm down, sweetheart. We're, <laughs> all right. Your all right, voice is all right, hard. All, right, all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm saying is, is that while the victory is is present, I don't believe that you're built to win the war, and I look forward to the championship that we will eventually hoist above our heads, as yellow oh, as our skin, golden even. Amen. I disagree. Come to Brooklyn. Yeah. I think, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, I think, I think we, I think you put us all in a room together, all that shit. Yeah. All that shit stops. Nope. Yeah. Cause we gonna run in circles and go nanny, nanny, boo, boo. And y'all go, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, the monkey stuff is the, always yeah. hilarious. Yeah, it is very funny. It is very fast. Yeah, you saying it. Bolt is not a light skinned man is all I'm saying. We got fast ones too. He ain't running. You know it. He ain't showing up for that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> All right. This is fun. Reggie, this is great. Could you tell the people where they can find you and what cool shit you have going on? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Reg Conquest, or Gigi Conquest. I'll be at DC Improv the 19th through the 20th. And everything else I'll post about on my IG. Hell Thanks yeah. for having me, dog. This is yeah, great. great. Nice kicking it, Dave. We got to kick in real life one day. Yeah, yeah. We got to beat up Langston because this shit is atrocious. Good luck catching me. Uh, <laughs> Bory, you want to tell the people <laughs> where to. they can find you? You can find me cornering Langston Kermit <laughs> in the stairwell. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Reggie down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull the fire alarm. Make sure nobody's oh, yeah. there to witness. Uh, uh -huh. you can find me on Instagram. <laughs> cool guy jokes eighty seven. I'm filming my own special with my own money in Denver, Colorado, May eighteenth. Uh, it's gonna be. You're gonna see links go up for the tickets. Really small room, so tickets are gonna go fast. I would love as many little mamas to be there as possible. Once again, that's May 18th. Watch my Instagram. You will see it. Also, Netflix is a joke. Sunday, May 5th, my birthday. I'm going to be there with Langston Kerman. Will this be the dark skin, light skin face off that he's been talking about? Maybe. Who knows? You're going to have to buy a ticket and find out. Find Low out for yourself. Warning too. That's just about sold out. So get it before. You know what I mean? If you want to see dark skin justice. Mm. If you believe, <laughs> mm. ooh, ooh, if you believe, uh -uh. yeah, <laughs> ooga booga. <laughs> uh, as always, you can follow me at Langston Kerman. I'm not going to address this. As always, you can follow me at Langston Kerman on all social media platforms. And it just got announced yesterday, but I've been working on this show called Everybody's in L.A. with John Mulaney. Uh, it's going to be uh, happening throughout the, the Netflix is a joke, fe joke festival, May 3rd, May 6th, 7th, 8th, 
9th and 10th, there'll be live shows, live programming on the Netflix app. We would love for y'all to check that out. And I'm going to be in it a little bit. And and I wrote a bunch of shit for it. So it's very exciting. Uh, And as always, if you want to send us your own drops, your own conspiracy theories, if you want to make a case for why Terrence Howard's math, in fact, should be the math we teach in schools, send it all to mymamapod at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. Like, subscribe, do whatever else you're supposed to do. Buy the merch at mymamatoldme.merchtable.com. That's everything we needed to say. Bye, bitch. Later. You will come back on the Lisa Rice. You will come back on the Lisa Rice.